You will learn about how to create a rack from scratch using a dataset from Llama Hub API. Let's import Llama dataset from Llama index dot core dot Llama underscore dataset import download Llama dataset and then I'm going to make two variables first is rag underscore dataset and second is documents then I will call this download llama dataset and now I'll go to this llama hub I'll click on this llama dataset here and then from here I will choose blockchain solana this is the data set that I am going to load. I'll just come down here and then note this from here and I will paste it here. And the second parameter is nothing but the folder where we want to save this data set. I will copy it from here and then I will paste it here. And I'll close this bracket. Let us execute our code. To look at this data set, we can convert this into a pandas data frame and we can look at some rows. I will write here rag underscore data set dot two underscore pandas. And then I will look at five rows from here. And here in the output, you can see that these are the columns that are present in this data set. So we have this query, reference context, reference answer, reference answer by and query by. And one more thing, we are also going to check one of the parameter faithfulness that will evaluate how good our uh, LLM model results are. So now let's create LLM. I will import OS from get pass import get pass from hugging face hub import login now i create this hf token variable and then i will call get pass and then i'll just copy my api keys from here and i will paste it here then okay i have to write like this okay now i will do the login i will write here login and then token is equal to hf token so this will login and now let's create llm model from llama index dot llms dot hugging face llms dot hugging face import hugging face in prints api and then llm is equal to hugging face in prints api and then model name which is going to be our first parameter I will write here model name and then I will copy the model from here that is mixed model and I will paste it here. My next parameter is going to be token and token is, is equal to this HF token. I will put it here and then let us execute our code. And I can print this LLM model. So this is the model that we have created now. Now the next part come creating index on the data set or the data that we have loaded here. So let's create indexing from llama index dot core 
import vector store index whenever you want to create indexing you will be using this function vector store index then I will make a variable index and then I will call this vector store index from this I will call from underscore documents and then documents is equal to documents that we have loaded so this is the document that I am talking about this one and then the second parameter is we have to give one embedding model and I will be using local I will write here embed underscore model is equal to local and then let us execute our code now create query engine I will write here query underscore engine is equal to index and from this as query engine so as query engine and then LLM is equal to LLM so whenever you want to create a query engine you have to create it on the index so that is why we have created here on this index here now let me import one more library import tqdm and then from llama underscore index dot core dot llama underscore pack import download llama underscore pack so this we will be using to evaluate our model now I will create rag evaluator pack rag evaluator pack and then I will call this uh, before that I have to create this rag evaluator pack I will write here rag evaluator pack this will help us to check how good our output is I will write here download llama pack and then rag evaluator pack and then the directory where we want to download this so this is rag underscore evaluator underscore pack Now I will make this variable rag evaluator pack and then I will call this regular rag evaluator pack here. So I will just paste it here and then inside this I will pass our rag dataset rag underscore dataset is equal to rag underscore dataset and then query underscore engine is equal to query underscore engine and then judge so what model we are going to use here judge underscore LLM so we will be using our LLM that is this one so I will just write here judge LLM is equal to LLM and let us execute our code now let us also call this faithfulness evaluator that will help us to tell how good our query response was I will write here from llama index dot core dot evaluation import faithfulness evaluator and then I will create an object of this evaluator underscore model is equal to faithfulness evaluator and then we also have to pass LLM because we want to evaluate this LLM output and then we have to import one function that you should import otherwise you may face problem in your Jupyter notebook that is import nest underscore asynco and then nest underscore 
cinco dot apply now i'm going to create a query and then save the result in uh, in a new variable and then on that i will use this evaluator model to see how good the results are so i will write here response underscore vector is equal to query engine dot query so this will help us query our data i will ask the question what is solana blockchain because this data is about blockchain solana data sets so that is why i am asking this query here and then i will call here evaluate underscore result and then evaluator model evaluator so this one evaluator model i am trying to call here so i will just paste it here evaluator model dot evaluate response and inside this response response is equal to response underscore vector that is this one response underscore vector now let us look at the results that we have got so the results are saved in this variable eval result and let me print this result here dot response to print it you have to also call this response and then i will call a print statement here and here in the output you see that it says solana is a blockchain system that significantly improves the performance of traditional blockchain system making it possible to build scalable and user friendly applications for the world and so on this is the actual answer and faithfulness evaluator we can see in our next tutorial because i don't want to increase the length of this video so that we will see in the next video and this is how you can create a rag from scratch using a data set from llamahub.ai i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching